What's up trainers, it's your boy Drizzy, back again with another tabletop. And today I'm bringing you a special match. This is an expanded match, meaning everything from black and white forward. Andrew on the left is going to be playing Galissapod Garbodor, while Alex is going to be playing Night March. Now Night March always sees play in every single expanded tournament you will be going to. Um, so it's kind of nice to see how this deck runs. Hopefully, Alex can get some good hands. I know usually in these tabletops, he's always lucking out um, with his hands. But I believe Andrew's going to go first. He won that coin toss, calling tails. Alex, I see a Lele. I did see a Pumpkaboo. Um, so Pumpkaboo and a Joltik. Okay, so he does have something to work with. I know Andrew also played down one active, one bench. They're going to set out some prizes. Uh, please ignore the bottom right little metal piece that is what's holding the camera I will make sure it's gone uh, next match so here we see Alex play Bridget right off the bat he's gonna grab three uh, basic Pokemon we see Coco and two Galissapods now he is playing that tool drop uh, Trubbish which is really nice it's always a good card to play especially if you're playing Garbodor he plays the Bridget and can he attach for this turn he plays a floatstone okay so he does play garbatoxin so who knows how effective that will be against night march since night march really doesn't run abilities except for shaman and lele and now that i remembered the mew that copies any pokemon's attack as long as you have the necessary energy so we see a battle compressor right off the bat um he's going to be looking to discard those lampants that he cannot play all they're used for is putting them in his discard now night march if you're not familiar with it does 20 times the amount of Pokemon that have the Night March attack in your discard. So right now he's hitting for 60 right off the bat and all you need is a DCE. We do see Lele for uh, Professor Juniper and that's a card you don't really see um, in the standard format obviously because it's illegal but it does the same thing as Professor Sycamore. So we're gonna see maybe he might want to discard. Okay so he field blowers right away. That Floatstone uh, might as well use it before you get it discarded with Juniper. So we see Let's see, one, two, three, four. We see four Night Marchers right now. Now he's going to draw a fresh hand of seven. It's pretty nice. Oh, no, I was going to say it's nice he's laid out his discard, but two, three, four. Okay, so he has five. I'm sorry, five. He has five. So he's hitting for 100 right now. If he can find that DCE, which I don't think he does. I see a VS Seeker, another Lampent. I do see that computer search that he has in hand. And also that Marsh Shadow as well. Marsh Shadow allows you to use any attack from your uh, discarded basic Pokemon. Right there, Andrew is showing us his uh, computer search. Alex's computer search um, will allow it for this tabletop. Um, you do want that ace spec in tournament play, though. He attached a DCE onto Marshadow, so he's able to use that ability to use Night March attack. Uh, he retreats with the free retreat Pumpkaboo that has a float stone. He's counting, and it should be enough. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, doing 120, knocking out that uh, top of Coco. Oh, and weakness, I believe. So, yeah, it was, it was more than done. Uh, we do see uh, Sycamore. He did attach uh, Choice Band onto that benched Galissapod. Plays down another, um, sorry, Wimpod. What am I saying? Uh, benched Wimpod. He has two Bench Wimpods, uh, two Trubbishes. We see that evolve right away. Now, is there a way he can retreat that Wimpod from the active? He's going to check uh, Alex's discard. The crazy thing with Night March is your opponent, or the player playing Night March, goes through all of their resources so quickly. Um, so you really want to make sure you keep track of what they have. So we see a DCE going down on to Galissapod. I don't think he will be attacking this turn. You do need a Grass Energy or a Rainbow Energy uh, to fulfill that attack cost. Now he's just thinking. He might let this uh, Wimpod die unless Alex has a Lysander in his hand, which I don't think he does. He does have a Seeker. He passes. We see a DCE go down. Nope. Okay, he does. It does go down onto the Pumpkaboo. So right now we see Alex just setting up a second attacker uh, ready to go. We do see that. Orangaroo, which would be uh, it'd be costly if uh, somehow Andrew can bring that up since it's a heavy retreat cost and you don't really want to be attacking with him. We see a Sycamore for a fresh new hand, just checking out his options. We see that Fighting Fury Belt, that's crazy. Uh, Marshadow is, is hitting for a lot and it's a hefty HP and it's a basic, which is just nuts. So we do see Trainer's Mail, what's he grabbing? We see he grabbed a Puzzle of Time, but he's playing a double Battle Compressor, so he's able to discard six cards if he chooses. Um, there's two. Three, okay, so that, that fulfills one battle compressor. Four, okay, so he does have the Guzma. He might go for that Guzma play. Uh, he already did play Sycamore, so he can't use it. He's discarding the supporters because Via Seeker is back in the format. So Via Seeker allows you to grab anything from your discard, which is always nice. Uh, but we do have to remember that Andrew is playing 
Garbit uh, Garbatoxin and Trash Lanch. So this is this might be costly with all these items that Alex is playing. Uh, he puts that puzzle time back into his hand. He's gonna attack. Yep. Oh, he doesn't. He chooses to pass. That's an interesting play. I uh, wonder if it's gonna be helpful or if it's gonna hurt him in the end. Maybe he's counting on uh, Andrew not being able to retreat. We do see Ultra Ball discarding an Ultra Ball and teammates. Uh, he's gonna grab a Pokemon, grabs that Trash Lance, which he's already played that uh, Blend Energy onto that Bench Trubbish. So Blend Energy allow uh, it's like a Rainbow Energy, uh, but it doesn't give you that 10 10 damage. So and we do see the end. So Alex is gonna draw five uh, while Andrew draws six. Now let's see if we can find that float. We do see DCE. There's a rainbow. Okay, so we do see computer search. He's gonna discard that rainbow and a wind pod. What's he gonna go for? Is he gonna go for that float stone? If he does, he's gonna be knocking out this uh, Mars Shadow, I believe. Since it does have weakness when using uh, that trash launch attack. Uh, he's just searching through his deck. Maybe doing a quick deck check. I don't think he's done one since. Uh, just checking to see maybe what's prized, uh, what his options are. He's gonna check Alex's discard now. You know, counting to see how many mar uh, night marchers he has in his deck. So we see. Oh, he grabs a tropical beach. This is a crazy card and expanded right now. Um, you may choose to draw up until you have seven cards in your hand, but your turn ends right then and there. So maybe he's gonna be planning to use that. He does play down that Glissapod. Evolving that Wimpod, plays Tropical Beach, and passes his turn since that's uh, the effect of the card. Now, ooh, Alex has a Lysander bringing up that benched Galissapod with the energy. He Ultra Balls away, an Ultra Ball, and a Shame, and what's he going to grab? Nope, he just uh, was probably trying to thin down his hand. I think I see a Seeker in his hand as well, so he can spam Lysander as much as he wants. He's counting. There's three, six, nine, ten, so he's going to be doing 200 damage. With the uh, Fighting Fury Belt, that's 210, knocking out that Glissapod clean. Um, we do see Rainbow Energy come down onto uh, Garbodor that uh, Andrew promoted. He does play N, so both players are going to shuffle their hand into their deck. Alex is gonna only going to grab 3, while Andrew is still grabbing a uh, full hand of 6. Now, they're counting the items cards that are in Alex's discard, and they are 10. So, Andrew is actually hitting for 400 damage. There is no way this Marshadow is taking that attack and still living so now there's an 11 with that fighting fury belt now the price count is andrew has four left alex has three now we do see him shuffle his deck simply because one of those cards was uh backwards it was facing up uh, so he draws for turn i think that's a necrozma i can't quite tell what that is he's hiding it right behind the threats of his hand so we see an ultra ball discarding whatever that card was and that seeker just thinning out his deck some more. He wants consistency at the end of this game. Oh, we do see the Shaman, though. He's doing a Ranguru first. Uh, he replaces that uh, Tropical Beach Stadium with his own Dimension Valley. Now, Punkaboo is able to attack uh, with just with that DCE cost. He is counting the Night Marchers in his deck. Uh, but he's going to be hitting Garbodor for weakness. So, you know, it's, it's dead either way. Unless he chooses to Lysander something up. That's going to be interesting to see if he wants to do that. We do see that secret in his hand. Will he play it? Yep, he's going to grab Teammates. That's an interesting uh, card. Uh, since one of his Pokemon was uh, knocked out the turn before, he's able to search for any two cards that he wants. Uh, now it's going to be... Okay, so he does go for the double Puzzle of Time. Now he doesn't have to show Andrew what he grabbed from his deck because the card doesn't state that you have to show your opponent. So he's shuffling. Now I wonder what two cards he's going to grab with those that double puzzle of time. Because playing two puzzle of time at the same time allows you to draw, uh, grab any two Pokemon from your discard pile. So I think he's just counting his Pokemon, checking what's left in his deck. Maybe there's something in his prizes. Does he play the Shaman or do you play that... Uh, so he decides to go for the puzzle, double puzzle of time. What two cards? Marshadow and a DCE. He can retreat for free with that Pumpkaboo. And he takes that knockout on the garb with his Marshadow. Um, maybe he, maybe Andrew brings up that bench Garbodor knocking that out. And that just leaves Alex with one more prize to take. Um, he can only grab two, so he's debating. So he grabs the Marshadow and the DCE. He does have that Shaman for more draw support. Um, <laughs> but he chooses to attack with Pumpkaboo. That's interesting. Okay. 
So now Andrew is stuck. Uh, wants to know what the best play is. Uh, he needs to promote his Pokemon before he does anything first, though. What's he going to grip? Okay, he's going to bring up the Garb? Or no, he's juking me. Alright, so he brings up the Galissapod GX, attaches that Blend Energy, which also gives it uh, some Grass Energy. Now, he is he countered uh, the Dimension Valley, and he Guzmas. That's an interesting play. He's going to hit Marshadow for weakness. Alice can still come back and take out that Garbodor, but does he choose to? Um, he will not have any more Night Marchers in play for him to use it. Unless he can somehow bring back Marshadow GX because his Night Marchers will be in the discard. Um, so we see here a rescue stretcher from Andrew. He's going to grab that Coco. And I believe that was two Trubbishes. I couldn't quite tell. It was maybe, might have been one Trubbish and one Garbodor. Wants to bring those back into his deck. The great thing about Garbodor is that it can also use Trash Lanch. Um, and it is a one prize liability. Or not liability, but you only lose one prize when it gets knocked out. We see the field blower and then the knockout. So now Alex promotes the Pumpkaboo. He has a Shaman. Um, I can't I couldn't quite couldn't quite tell what he drew. I think it's a Guzma. Yeah, it's a Guzma. So he Guzmas up. Actually, no, he doesn't. He's uh just thinking about it. Does he shaman? Okay, so he does. One, two, three, four. Does he get what he needs? Um, we do see a double DCE. So what is the move here? Do you uh, retreat and then Sky Return? He's just taking in his discard. I know he has that VS Seeker in his hand. Okay, so he does VS Seeker. Um, he's gonna grab a Lysander. Will he use it? Yup, he brings up the Galissapod. Now it allows him to stay there in the active. It doesn't force you to switch like Guzma does. So Alex is I'm sorry, Andrew is just counting how many Nart Marchers Alex has in his discard. And we're going to see, uh, based off how much damage he puts down, 6, 12, 18. Is that 200? Yep, 200. So Alex missed it by 10. Now, okay, we do see a Lele. He's going to Wonder Tag for a Guzma for game. Oh, he pulled it out. I think Alex wanted one more turn. Um, if he would have knocked out the Galissapod, he probably would have been in a better position. But then again, um, Andrew did have that Lele in hand, so who knows what would have happened. But I hope you enjoyed this expanded match. If you want to see more expanded, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Go ace on that like button. Subscribe if this is your first time here. And remember, train on.